New fuel load marks the transition of Unit 2 from a construction effort to an operating unit, bringing with it a number of changing conditions. Loading fuel in the reactor makes Unit 2 a working core, preparing Unit 2 to run for the next 30 plus years. The journey starts here at BWXT Nuclear Energy Canada in Peterborough, where the fuel was meticulously manufactured into 6,240 fuel bundles. Each bundle has 37 tubes filled with ceramic fuel pellets of naturally occurring uranium to sustain the fission process. They're encased in high strength zirconium metal. The bundles each weigh about 25 kilograms and were arranged in sequential order and packaged into containers for shipping. Developing the plan for which fuel bundle goes where and in what order took months of planning. You have 480 fuel channels, each contains or will hold 13 fuel bundles. So you have 6,240 bundles to load into the reactor. This is all done by hand after checking each bundle for foreign material damage, defects, and making sure the right bundle gets into the right place. The fuel was shipped to Darlington in secure trucks and loaded into the station for storage. During execution, fuel is moved into a staging area at the airlock and then transferred into the vault in the correct sequence for loading. To prepare for the fuel load, Ken Adam and OPG workers spent weeks in the mock-up training facility, rehearsing the precise steps and quality checks that are required. Loading new fuel takes a large group of people to execute the work safely and with precision. The first step is to insert the shield plug into the outlet end of the fuel channel and then seal the channel closed with a closure plug. The correct bundle is then selected and goes through a visual inspection to ensure there is no foreign material. A ring gauge is used to confirm the tubes have not shifted during transportation. Each bundle is then carefully lifted into the loading tray. A unique serial number is engraved on each bundle. This number is tracked from the moment each bundle is received at site until it is transferred to nuclear waste for storage. Serial numbers were recorded during fuel manufacturing. The number is confirmed as each channel is loaded to ensure every bundle is placed in this expected location. After the number is read and confirmed, the bundle is pushed into the correct position in the channel. Once fueled with 13 bundles, the channel is then closed by inserting the shield plug and the closure plug on the inlet side. This process is then repeated until all of the 480 fuel channels are complete. It's our job to make sure that uh, whatever we do for Unit 2, we do better for the next units. So we'll learn from what we do on Unit 2 this time around and do it better on Unit 3, and then even better on Units 1 and 4. <laughs>